Hey folks, my name is Joel and uh, today I'll be talking about command injection attacks. I'll be using the damn vulnerable web application to demonstrate this. As you might know, this is a pretty interesting project which is used by you know security professionals all over the world to play around and to test various attacks. Right? You can go down to this particular website, the uh, D wwa.co.uk to download the source code and you can use the instructions presented on this page to install it on your machine right so i have already installed this on my machine i am using a fedora machine on which i already have the web server running and as you can see I'm already on the login page so let's go ahead and let's log in on this application I'm using the default credentials which is admin and password yes we are in the first thing to do probably is to go down to the DWA, DWA security change the security levels to low for now and press the submit button right and like I said today we'll be exploring the command injection or the command execution attacks so right now on your screen you're basically seeing a text box where which has been designed to test the ping utility which means you define a IP address over here you mention IP address and the application would do a ping and display the response right so Let's uh, see what, let, let's see our IP address, right? So let's run the command ifconfig. As you can see, the IP address is 192.168.16 and 131. Okay, let's take that. Let's put it up here. And you can see, we got a response. We got a response for the IP address we mentioned. Now that is what a non-malicious user would do, a non-attacker would do. But since we are trying to exploit this application, let's do something different. We basically know that on a Linux machine, you can run multiple commands separated by a semicolon, right? So let's use this particular idea over here. So we have the IP address. Let's put a semicolon, right? Now let's run a command. Let's let's do a cat for the password file to see the users present on this machine, right? Let's see if this works. Yes, it worked, right? So we basically explored a very basic vulnerability, and uh, we 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 did mention the IP address followed by the command which we really want to execute and as you see we have the response for the thing but followed by that we also have the entire dump of the password file you know seen on our screen right since there was no input validation you know we were we were able to explore or exploit this vulnerability right so in order to see actually how it was possible let's go down to the place where the PHP file is located right let's so on the terminal you can type the location right abilities it's under exec source I believe it's the low PHP I'm, I'm taking the low PHP because we selected low to be the security levels earlier right as you see on the screen this is the PHP file which gets executed in the backend and uh, there is there is no check to see what the user inputs you know in place of the IP address right so it basically executes the ping utility without doing any check on what the user is you know injecting so that is why we were able to 
exploit this vulnerability so there is no check whatever the user you know inputs it could be the IP address followed by some command all of that gets executed and as a result we were able to run the ping command followed by the command which we actually wanted you know as a malicious user to be executed so that's how we were able to exploit this right so that was something very simple now let's move on to something little more interesting right so this was more like a static attack but what if you want what if you want the control you know a continuous control on from an attacking machine then if what if you want to have a backdoor you know available so that you can attack this machine whenever you want right so in that case we can use something like a netcat right 